everyone never mind my hair just woke up from evening nap <laughs> before i made dinner i thought i would bring you guys along for dinner so i'm gonna make some steak and potatoes and veggies and yeah so join me so right now we're just gonna get the veggies out i do need to wash them so For these, I just cut the ends off. And then next, I need to cut some onion. So right now, I'm just peeling the skin off of here. And I'm cutting this part off as well because it's been in my fridge for a few days, so it kind of lost its moisture. This. At least the onion's pretty big, so I love onions, so there's that. I put this back in my fridge. Just, I just chopped up. I also have some potatoes in there. I have not started them because they're not going to take that long to cook. But for these, I put this in here. I put the onions in here. I think that's a good amount of onion. And then the broccoli is going to be going into here. But this is the meat that I'm going to be using tonight. It feels super tender and it's organic, so I feel like it would be good and yeah so i'm just gonna open this up and season it now so i just started the potatoes um broccoli i know it won't take that long but i will get it started because i need to get steaming um and then this i'm gonna put some oil in there this is the oil i'm using it's organic and i'm just gonna go like this and put a little bit on not too much sorry i took like way down here for you to see me but i'm gonna be showing you what i'm going to be using to season the steak so i have some black pepper i just bought this montreal uh steak seasoning that i'm excited to try out and see if it's any good also i'm going to be putting some of this um beef spice rub on it as well as some chili powder and then just some salt All right this up there's the steak. I'm gonna start with the salt and pepper. Next, I'm gonna put on the beef, the beef spice rub, chili powder. So I like a little bit of spice and then I'm going to use this Montreal steak seasoning. Next, I'm going to turn the stove on super hot and I'm going to put some oil in it. To get a medium done steak, you cook it for about four minutes on each side, four to six minutes on each side. So I'm gonna flip this over now, and I'm gonna do the same seasonings on this side. This water is starting to heat up. I do need to put a lid on this. I'm wait for that so it can actually start steaming. I'm not gonna put a lid on that, and then here this, I'm gonna go like put in about a little like medium on. All right, so I'm just gonna be putting these seasonings away now. All right, so in the fridge. Um, 
And you just gotta wait for um, the skillet to get hot enough. Just stir it, even though it has not even started boiling yet, but this just mixed around a little bit. It's just about time to put the steak on. Y'all, I really do not like touching raw meat, so <laughs> I'm going to do it like this. All right, I did not get burned, thankfully. But yeah, so the point of this is to get it seared on both sides, but um, still a little bit red in the middle. 819, we're going to do that for about, I'll say five minutes, and then we'll switch it over. Well, so far, this pregnancy, I've been craving red meat so insanely. And my other two pregnancies as well, but more so towards the end, I crave red meat so badly. I love it, I cannot get enough of it, and yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> so we're just going to let this cook, and we will see what the finished product looks like in a little bit. gonna be so bomb. Let me turn the fan on. Otherwise, we're gonna get my fire alarm going. I'm just gonna open my window. And of course, my fire alarm starts going off. <sighs> Should have y'all. Now that I've made my fire alarm go off, you can't be cooking if you're not making your fire alarm go off. Let's turn this meat over. This is done. And it's not quite done yet, but we're almost done. I have to give it like another two minutes for it to be done. And I'm gonna wash this really quick so I can cut my steak on it. Some of these potatoes got really well done, so I'm going to use the rest for the mashed potatoes. Probably tomorrow, I like twice baked potatoes. Alright, next we are going to cut the steak. I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to check how done it is to make sure it's how I like it. Yep, and this is perfectly done to my liking. Here's that finished product of the steak. It looks amazing. I'm gonna put it on my plate now and put some butter on the potatoes and then you, I'll show you guys the finished product. Alright everyone, here's the finished product. My meat looks bomb. I can't wait to dig into it. I think I did it perfectly medium well done. Um, my asparagus, broccoli, the onions are under the meat because I love eating that together. And then I got my potatoes with butter, salt, pepper, and sour cream. So I'm going to go to the I enjoyed this cook with me video. I hope you guys saw how simple it was to make a delicious and healthy dinner. And I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye!